Talking with Chris today is the magic moment last night with the Anthony Slocum autograph on the back of his jersey. He said it was the coolest home run he's ever hit. And he's hit a lot. Maybe <laughs> another one here. Drives it to deep right toward the wall. And out it goes for Chris Davis. Opposite field blast. It's number 38. Oh, by the way, against the Rangers yeah. <laughs> again. I'm John Perez with the MLB.com FastCast. Chris Davis continued to crush Texas Tuesday night, launching his ninth homer off the Rangers this season and the 27th of his career as the A's cruised to a 6-0 win in Oakland. The opposite field blast was his fourth in the last three days and a league lead tying 38th of the season. Southpaw Brett Anderson earned the win, allowing just one hit over seven scoreless innings. With the victory, the A's remain tied with the defending champion Astros at the top of the AL West. The Cubs bolstered their injury-plagued infield by acquiring Daniel Murphy from the Nationals. The veteran second baseman has shined in postseason play each of the last three seasons, batting 323 with eight home runs in 24 games. The Nats moved another veteran Tuesday, sending Matt Adams to the Cardinals for cash considerations. Now, let's have a look at the rest of Tuesday's action. Back on it, Allen leaps at the wall. He makes the catch and hangs on. Borland with a drive. Allen racing back, dives. He made the catch. What more can he do in this series? Here comes the 2-2. The Yankees are one strike away. Outside, the throw to second base is in time. How do you like that? The Yankees win. It's a home run. Opposite field into right center off the bat of Yadier Molina. Swing and a long one to left off the bat of Ozuna. This ball is up and out of here. That one's deep to right field, there it goes! Josh Reddick with a solo shot, 13th homer of the season. All the hype and excitement around the start for Michael Kopech, well worth it because he looked like a kid that handled his debut very well. The Twins get a couple of big two out hits to score three runs in the top of the ninth. Now Dansby's the batter, a two-run homer in the fifth inning off Nova. And now another high fly ball. This one belted deep toward left. It's a two-homer game for Swanson. Gossman is through eight with a shutout. Five-nothing Atlanta. He's got a chance. Gone. Rizzo fell down after swinging. The Cubs are back in the game, trailing two to one. Swing and a miss. He got him on strike. Off the plate away. What a pitch. Pitch on the way, and A.J. Bunce, it's a good one. And Bedrosian will throw to third, he throws it away. And the Diamondbacks walk it off, and they beat the Angels tonight 5-4. to four. Kendrys Morales goes back to back with Justin Smoke. McKinney lifts one high and deep right center. And he gets in on the fly. Second career four-hit game for Jeff McNeil, and the fourth hit produces the go-ahead run. Conforto provides the icing, a three-run homer, and the Mets down a six-to-two lead. Adamas lifts one way up into the air to left. And it's up into the rings, and he dives forward. It's a home run. Called strike three, and Blake Snell will finish by striking out the side of the sixth. Scooter! Scooter! Did Scooter do it? Did he do it? He did it! Holy mackerel, Scooter Jeanette! Oh, brother! Two out, nobody on, leading by one. He deals, high fly ball. Deep left field, I thought up the bat it was gone. It's not. Ball game belongs to the my San Diego Padres. This one is going and gone! The Nationals go back to back. Stevenson and Defoe. For more on these stories and for complete coverage from around the majors, stay locked into MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.